So now today we're going to make a PowerPoint presentation by using artificial intelligence. I'll take you step by step process of using two software here. Of course, you can change them as well. I what I'm going to do, I'm going to use chat GPT as well as Microsoft 365, the two software to make a PowerPoint presentation without my more intellectual input. Of course, as I always recommended, don't believe in any AI based softwares. They are doing a wonderful job, but it's your job to review the content because at the end of the day, it is your production, your content. So your input and your review is much more required. So let's start from there. What I'm going to do, I'll open the chat GPT from here. Of course, you can use Gemini, you can use the other different um, Bing, all other, but here I'm using the chat GPT for the script. So I'm giving a command, uh, create a PowerPoint um, for AI in education, let's suppose on any topic, but okay, that's a, uh, it has a bad prompt. Uh, I just accidentally clicked here. So let me go back again create a 10 slides PowerPoint uh, on AI in education. Okay, so on any of your topic, I just giving you one of the topic here and I'll specifically ask for the 10 slides so it doesn't work more than that. So it start working on those things and have giving me the script as it coming from those, uh, of course, you can give the more context, but at the moment, I'm not going to have a tutorial about the prompt engineering. So I'll only focus on the other aspect of the technical things. And sometimes we're going to talk about prompt engineering. So the title slide is AI in education. Subtitle is harnessing artificial intelligence for education, introduction to AI in education, benefits of AI in education, AI powered teaching tools, applications for AI in education. Of course, by using different prompts, I can modify all the text as well so these are the bullet points I'll just take it to the next level otherwise you can elaborate those slides you can make modifications you can guide it to be more specific on one area descriptive on other suggest some of the images as well but right now I'll just copy the script which is prepared by any AI software AI chatbot right now we have used uh, chat GPT for that version. So now coming to the Microsoft Office 365, I am at 365 and this usually works with the paid version of 365 because the export in the PowerPoint is usually not available in the free version, although it's maybe available in some of the countries. So you can try your luck if you don't have a paid account of Microsoft 365. I have opened the Microsoft Office and I have pasted all the text which is there from the chat GPT written by the software. So I'll go up and now I need to do some formatting. That is a requirement because I need to tell the Microsoft Office that where, where is the heading, where is the subheadings and all other places. Otherwise it cannot detect on its own. So this is a subheading. So I don't need to write it as a subheading. What I'll going to do, I'll making sure that the, this is the heading. So I select the first line from here. Okay. And from here, I will selected that from the heading one. So for this is, it is suggested to be the subheading of the first slide. So I'll go there and select it as heading two. Okay. Maybe as a title is better one. I need to make it the title. So this is the title and this is the second part is the subtitle. So this is the first slide. I'm going again. Slide two need to be deleted. And this is the, for example, this is the heading one or you can make it title, but let me do the heading one. So it doesn't know what are the bullet points here. Again, this need to be converted there. So I'll change those bullet points from here and now make it in the Microsoft Office that these are the sub points so that AI know the context I am making sure. So I'll go there and for example here and convert these things, which I'm going to do from all the slides and making this as a heading 
and these bullet points which are coming up of course you can edit them as I do recommend it all the times to my all the viewers and making this as a bullet points so the software now of course when the bullet point goes we need to edit the previous bullet point which was added by chat GPT although you can add it within those things as well so let me do these things one by one and give and come up with you afterwards so just few slides so you are aware how it is changed this is the bullet points so the AI knows that these are the slides bullet point and making this headings as the title okay so that's need to be done in all the slides we are already on slide number five so because these uh, stars it will make for the bold within the software so that is you know that how it works in the background just like the whatsapp if you want to make something as bold you need to add one star before and after the words it will automatically bold here okay so here let me do it as a heading one so I'll just edit five slides not edited the other one so we can see the difference as well so you need to do all of your slides you can modify the text and do many other things but today we're going for the technical aspect of all other so once it is there the next part is we need to go to the file and there the three dots which are there and there there is an option of export in the export there is an option export to PowerPoint presentation as a preview and we need to select that select some of the theme based on the content of the slide it will read the content of the slide and suggest you some of the design themes which are there and of course you can ask it to suggest more themes as you go along and uh, more themes can be added within your within your account as well so these are some of the themes that are coming let's suppose I'm happy with this one let's suppose and I click one and click export so let's start work on the background with using artificial intelligence and create the whole presentation for us so now I'm opening the PowerPoint which the software have just created by using artificial intelligence to giving me some of the format and everything is editable so you can go there and edit each and everything but here you can see this is the title slide which is showing to me and we'll see more slides once it is there okay great so I can see from here this is the next slide there are two options which are there so it has written some of the in the box format as well this is the next slides it selected some of the benefits of AI the images based on the content on its own design element and we can see from here of course the themes can be changed every slide can be changed within here we have the designer as well and you can upload all of the contents so for example I can go to the designer and this slide it suggests some other ways of presenting here so I can edit within the same content can be presented in different visually appealing way in the same layout so it not only changed for example it's like this the image is there it has changed the way and once you are comfortable with it you can download your file and edit it so this way it will clearly change the way you can make your presentation by using artificial intelligence by creating your content or you can write it down your own content if you have something of your own and making sure that the first draft of the presentation can be developed by the artificial intelligence which you can edit afterwards we need to go to the file and there we can save as and it can be saved in your hard disk other way around and you can edit just like a, a other PowerPoint so again I hope you enjoyed this video in which how to create PowerPoint with the same two software chat GPT and Microsoft 365 looking forward to see you again in other video have a nice time if you have any comment any suggestion kindly uh, give suggestions or comments in the uh, reply in the comment box thank you